yesterday was a tough day. You guys can see we're, we're making improvements, but you won't really feel good until you come out on top in the midst of the improvements. Bring it in, right here. Hey, we really need to work today. We need to be locked in today, all right? Guard you down there, right here. One, two, three. Team. What's been great, what I'm, really, what I'm really appreciative of is the season hasn't gone the way we would have expected to. What was the problem, Matt? It's tough, it's disappointing, but our guys seem to always bounce back and come back and to practice and give us their best effort. Hey, as soon as they, before they kept, high hand. Run it again. It's been a little bit of everything, just hurting ourselves really. Just sometimes we might just give up on defense, sometimes we might turn the ball over. So um, it's just stuff that we can fix. It's just stuff that we're doing that's hurting us in the second half. And um, that's a big thing that we're preaching now, just finishing game. That's all we need. It's hard to see them go through it and not be able to stop themselves from making the mistake you see about to see them make. Foul. Hold it. Hold it. David. David. Kel, that's the one, Tease. That's the one they're coming. We don't want to go for the steal. We want to get back and keep him in front. I always try to see big picture and perspective. I would guess my glass is half full in most situations. Okay, good, good, good contest. Next group. I mean, it's really tough because you want to see wins and still be able to teach them lessons. Unfortunately, right now, we're on the short end of it and learning the hard lessons. I think we improved in a lot of our games from the beginning of the season to now. I mean, I think we're kind of finding our identity now, even though it's a little late, but we're grown as men and um, as a basketball team, and that's all I care about. Let's go. Let's not walk, fellas. Practice isn't over. Let's go. As a leader, I really believe you have to set the tone. He has the ball, and they're running a the set right there. Bucket. If you fall asleep, it's a bucket for the guy you guard. You have to be aware of where he is, but at all times, where's my guy? Very fortunate that uh, Markel is with us. It's awesome to have someone that can just go make a play. Someone with a high level of intelligence on the floor that has the ball in his hand quite a bit. That's very helpful. Still pushing it, still pushing it. But the thing that I would appreciate about Markel is the teammate that he is. He's unselfish and there is zero sense of entitlement. He has all these accolades, all the hype coming in, but he's never ever had a day where it looked like he was renting out our program. It looks like he has both feet in. What can I do to help? Good finish. It's good. As far as Markel is concerned, that was Coach Chilios. You know, he he was the one who was kind of the point person on him. He's the one who told me, you know, you need to go see him. When you was in 10th grade, we in Swanee, and Coach thought you were getting your shot beat up. In what? Huh? In what? In the AAU. No, I wasn't. Huh? You have never seen me in my layup block. Like this? No. <laughs> that don't even sound right. Huh? That don't even sound right. You was like, man, I was like, Keith, man, is this dude, can he make a layup? To me, it's, it's really gratifying to see someone from my area get so close to achieving the goal that he's dreamed of his whole life. He's from back home on the East Coast. So when he came out to recruit me, it was pretty cool just to see somebody from back home. You didn't dunk on anybody all the time at AU. Oh my God. You used to get mad, then you dunked on like No, I dunked on everybody. Nope. Nope, no you didn't. He creates that type of situation to where I'm just one of the guys. I'm, I'm pretty good, but I'm one of the guys. Alaska Airlines Arena in Seattle, Washington tonight. Number 11, UCLA and Washington meet for the first time this season. And good evening, everyone, with Don McLean, J.B. Long. Don, we've been waiting all day and really all year for this unique matchup between what could be the top two players in college basketball. Lonzo Ball lifts his team with his spirit, the extra pass, all those things. Fultz, on the other hand, is just big time. Fultz, Ball, what are you excited about in this matchup? They're both outstanding basketball players. They'll both lead their team, but I think both guys are looking more uh, to help their team versus just outplaying them. It's one of the best matchups in the nation. I'm excited for both kids, not just our kid. I hope we see some spectacular plays. I think we will. Move! 
go, let's go. Crisp in transition, See, wraps it around with the left. This is the thing. Fultz does some of the stuff that Ball does really well, and Ball does some of the stuff that Fultz does as well. And with Ball in the mix, extending the range. Ah. Fultz, got it. Yeah, good. How about that free throw line runner? He can do almost everything. If he gets this going, he can do everything. Side on ball, we got to down it, OK? Down that side on ball. We, we got to take care of the ball, make shots. Hey, keep scrapping. You're real active, getting a lot of defections. One, two, three. That's what they need, a little confidence builder from behind the line. That's what's available against this UCLA zone. Take care of the ball and compete. All right, let's go. Fultz has seen two defenders everywhere. Rises for three over Holiday. That's what I'm saying, though, JB. He can score whenever he wants. Good, good. There's going to come a time, I don't know if him and Lonzo Ball are going to be matched up or not, but at some point, they're going to look each other in the eye, and Markel's going to have the ball. And when he does that, Markel is going to do whatever the game dictates at that point. He is not going to break off and say, okay, I'm going to show everybody, I'm going to show you. That's not who he is. He's going to be out trying to make his team be the best that his team can be. That is what makes Fultz special. Yeah. Hey, you know how to set him up on this, right? Come all the way up first. Markel Fultz, it might be time. Here we go. It might you be time. You know what? The game might already be decided, but let's go. Let's go mano e mano. Just spread the floor and let's see what you got. Kind of put some finishing thoughts here on Markel Fultz. His final line, 25 points on 9 of 19. Six rebounds, five assists. But a good win for UCLA. 107 points for number 11 UCLA. They get a road sweep. Convincing wins in Pullman and Seattle. UCLA obviously is a very good basketball team. You know, whether you call it pride, whatever it is, we have to keep hitting it, keep driving it home. This is not a situation where you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's everything is in place for us to make progress. All right, thank you.